so you see these drugs i just pointed out to the next time you take them please do not take why is it that i'm a -A? i'm always falling ill with malaria well i have the answers for you hello wonderful and intelligent people my name is pharmacist eradri yelari and this is pharmacist eradri's corner so today we are going to be talking about common mistakes made while taking malaria drugs. This is something I've noticed that is very prevalent in our society, especially in Nigeria. I want you to stay tuned. So next time you're taking malaria drugs or you're probably down with malaria, your doctor prescribes anti-malarials for you or your pharmacist prescribes it for you, I want you not to make these mistakes. Number one, do not take vitamin C with your anti-malaria drugs. <laughs> please i know that you don't like the smell of the malaria drugs neither do you like the taste but please don't take vitamin c with malaria drugs i know at this point you're about to ask me why yes i will answer that question you know why okay now there are some specific malaria drugs that act by causing oxidative injury to the cell of the parasite they act by causing oxidative injury. So now when you take vitamin C and you take such malaria drugs, it actually causes, completely stops that oxidative injury from happening in the malaria cell. So examples of such drugs are this, 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 this. So you see these drugs I just pointed out to. The next time you take them, please do not take vitamin C. I repeat, do not take vitamin C. Thank you. This vitamin C stops this oxidative injury from happening. So that's why you should not take vitamin C. Do not take fruit juice, especially those ones that contain orange, they contain grapefruit, just mixed fruit and all of that. Anything, soft drinks, do not take them with your malaria drugs because most times you don't tend to read the container of what you buy is the truth. Not the truth, no verse. I just they tell you truth. <laughs> you know I like it, so I'll tell you the truth. You tend not to read it, so you don't know if it contains vitamin C or not. So just abstain from using soft drinks to take your malaria drugs. Just take them. Try your best to take them with water. If you don't like, if you don't like the smell or taste of drug, there is now soft gel anti-malaria drugs. Amatem. Amatem soft gel. I take Amatem soft gel too, especially when I don't want to perceive anything or taste anything. So you can take Amatem soft gel. I can assure you that there is no smell or taste with it. It's just a soft capsule that just goes in. You see, it's just soft and then it just goes in very smoothly. It's really easy to take. There is no taste, there is no smell. So you can stick with Amatem soft gel. If you are the type that takes, with, takes malaria drugs with juice because you do not like the taste or the smell. I think I've solved that problem for you. Okay, so aside that, please do not take fruits like oranges or grapes or anything that just contains vitamins. You just abstain from it. It's just three days. Eh, it's just three days, yeah? You, nothing may happen. It's just three days. You can't do it. I got your back. <laughs> okay, so number two, do not take folic acid or blood tonic with your malaria drugs. Yes, blood tonic because blood tonic contains folic acid. Why? I will answer that question. Very simple. It's because there are some malaria drugs that act by inhibiting, that stopping the synthesis or the production of folic acid. So when it stops the production of this folic acid, it also affects the production of RNA, DNA, and all of that in the parasites. So when you take folic acid, you're actually stopping stopping the way the drug works so you are you are doing two different things like two opposite things you understand what i'm saying so like you are taking folic acid and then you're stopping the production of folic acid in the parasite meaning you are feeding the parasite folic acid so you are helping it produce more and then it thrives that's why you finish such malaria drugs and then you still feel sick so i'm going to give you some of these drugs that are especially in nigeria this 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 and that so please try your best not to take folic acid or blood tonic when you're taking these drugs that i mentioned earlier and of course this one i think it's common you hear it all the time but i'll repeat it do not take alcohol when you're taking 
your malaria drugs. Thank you. And number three, please, I beg. <laughs> Pastor say, be cool. Please, hey, Joe. I don't need one for house. I will have to go and learn that one. <laughs> Please, I beg you. I beg you. Finish your malaria drugs. Just because you're feeling better does not mean you should abandon it. It causes resistance. In the future, now when you keep doing this, when you keep doing this, the parasite in your body becomes resistant to the malaria drugs. And then, when you try to treat malaria in the future, these drugs don't work. I, malaria is very dangerous. Please, don't, don't undermine malaria parasite just because every now and then people have malaria and malaria there, malaria here. No, 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 don't undermine malaria. It's actually really dangerous. It affects your liver cells and your red blood cells and eventually could lead to the death of the patient. It can happen really fast. Malaria kills. Malaria kills. So please finish your malaria drugs and do not allow resistance. Please do not allow resistance. Thank you very much. I have a bonus for you. You know those questions you ask that why is it that I'm AA? I'm always falling ill with malaria. And then those that are AS or AS, SS, they barely fall ill with malaria. Well, I have the answers for you. It is because the cell surface of AA, they have this receptor called the Duffy antigen and that is where the parasite sticks to. So for those with other genotypes, they barely have it. For the AS, they have it for some of their red blood cells and they don't have it for some of their red blood cells. So that's why they barely fall ill with malaria, though they do once in a while, but it is not as often as those that have AA genotype fall ill with. So there you go. That answers your question. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, do well to drop it in the comment section and I am going to answer them for you. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. If you're yet to subscribe, please do well to hit the subscribe button, like this video and turn on the notification button. So the next time I post a video, an educational video, you're one of the first people to find out that I posted an educational video. And then you come and learn something new. Thank you very much for your time. And I was really glad you joined me today. See you next time.